Hey guys, Buffer and Gaming back bringing another video, and today we are going to convert the Holger 26 or the MG36 into the standard G36 assault rifle. So this is going to be the base G36 assault rifle we're going to make in today's conversion video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to build the weapon, see how the recoil handles, and then we're going to see how it handles in-game against bots. So let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. We see the final product, so let's strip it down. Now we have our base MG36 or the Holger 26. So the first attachment I'm going to do here is going to be a compensator. So the compensator, the pro here is recoil control. Obviously, cons are ADS speed and aim and stability, but we're going to make up for that in other areas, so it should be okay. The compensator is going to expel gas upward to aggressively fight muzzle climb. So this is something, uh, the recoil on this can be kind of iffy. It's a little hard to control here and there, so I'm trying to, I tried to find the best attachments to, to fight that. So we'll go with the compensator. For the barrel, we're going to want the standard barrel here that you get with the Holger 26, so you don't need to change the barrel whatsoever. Laser, we're going to skip out. Optic, um, we're going to go with the holographic opt optic here, but another good option that I do like is the FFS Integral. So this is that, essentially, we talked about in the carbine video or the compact video for the G36C, the different integral optics here. You see the FFS Integral, and then there's a four times integral here as well. But for this video, we're going to go with a standard holographic sight. Stock, we're going to skip out as well as perk. For the rear grip, we're going to do a, a, a stipple pistol grip. So again, this one's going to uh, make up for the compensator there. It's going to give us a pro for ADS speed as well as sprint to fire speed. And the con is going to be the aim and stability, which again, we're making up elsewhere too. So do that stipple pistol grip. Now the other, the really only key attachment with this weapon is we're going to change to the 30 round mag. Okay. So Obviously, we're just changing out that 100 round C mag for the 30 round magazine. This is going to help us with our ADS speed and our movement speed. Obviously, we're not carrying around that 100 round C mag, so we'll do that. And then for the underbarrel, this one, we're going to go with the Ranger foregrip. This is going to help our recoil control and aiming stability. Again, the con is the ADS speed and the, aim, the aiming walking movement speed, which we kind of mitigated elsewhere, so I think we should be okay with that. Another good option is going to be the Commando foregrip if you don't want it to sacrifice that ADS speed. This one also helps with the recoil stabilization and the aiming stability. So this one would heavyweight angled grip to keep the weapon steady while aiming and helps maintain control during heavy fire. But I like, I personally think the Ranger foregrip may be a better option for this particular build. And oh, we didn't even select that. There we go. Ranger foregrip. So that is our final build, the G36 assault rifle variant. The in real life, so this is, this is a the same barrel that the MG36 uses, that the base holder uses. So this is going to be that 18.9 inch barrel or the 480 millimeter barrel. So this is, they use the same length barrels and in, in the real life version, I believe it's the exact same um, handguard and everything as well. So here you see we have like a, a tri Picatinny rail. We got top, bottom, and then on the right side as well. So I'm not sure why we don't have one on the on the left side of the weapon, but you can see the bipod is still there folded up, which is fine. I think that's probably one thing that um, in the AR versions in real life is removed for the assault rifle versions. There's no bipod. It's only on the MG36s, but again, it's popped up, so it's okay. So this is the final version of the G36 assault rifle. It looks really nice. Again, you got the top rails there as well on the handguard also. And be sure to check out the G36K as well as the G36C videos we did the other day as well, going more in depth into the design and how accurate it is in real life. You see the charging handle up top, um, the magazine eject ejection triggers there, all fully ambidextrous as well as the select fire options. The only problem, again, is the magazine itself is not transparent like in real life. The bipod is still on this build when we switch to the... 30 round mag, which is obviously you know fine for in game, because we didn't change the barrel. If we change the barrel to the other variants, it'll go away. The magazine release, unfortunately, in real life, it's actually underneath the where the trigger. Oh, let me switch to it underneath the trigger. Same as an AK build, it'd be right there underneath the trigger guard on the bottom there, right behind the magazine. You could you could pop it out just like you would an AK, but that's the only difference with this particular build. Other than that, uh, pretty spot on build. So hopefully this one in my experience, should help us mitigate recoil and help us control the weapon. So let's go ahead now, get in game with our G36 assault rifle and see how it handles. 
Okay, now that we're in game with our G36 assault rifle, let's go ahead and check out the recoil pattern. So first we'll do this ADS and we're gonna let this rip and not control the recoil. So again, you can see it goes, similar to the other variants we did, it goes up and then to the right slightly. So I think we can control that pretty well. Let's go ahead and try. So there you can see I'm able to keep all those shots pretty close on target. We're, with the attachments we did, we kind of mitigated the muzzle climb enough that uh, it's just a matter of just keeping it on target and fighting that horizontal sway, uh, a recoil, horizontal recoil here. So let's try it again. You're going to get a little bit of horizontal sway there, but you can see those are pretty tight right there. Let's try it again. And these are all center mass shots. The recoil's not anything that you're going to get off target with you can see those are all pretty tight right so try it once more maybe a little bit further back aim right there and see how we do there we go so you can see they're still pretty tight if you're going for like headshots at long range uh, you're really going to run a mount it's not going to be that accurate but again those are tight enough that you could tap fire or even in you could probably hit somebody at that distance. No ammo. So there you go. Still pretty tight. That compensator definitely helps with our recoil. We're, we don't have the crazy muzzle climb. You really just need to worry about the horizontal recoil a little bit. So you, ideally down into the left slightly since it's going to climb to the right. So you just want to fight that. But that is our G36 assault rifle. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles. Okay, now that we're in game with our G36 assault rifle, we converted from the Holger 26 to the MG36. Let's go ahead and see how it handles in a game, real game situation here. So again, not a really complicated conversion. Really, the only differences here are we swapped out the C mag for the 30 round mag, and then you can use this, the other attachments at your discretion for what you want. Oh boy, not a good start. But if you were watching the stream today, I was playing with this a fair amount, and it does definitely handle pretty well. I like the way it feels, and you can get, with the right attachments, it's uh, a very good build. Let's see. Let's see where these guys are at. Whoa. Nice, okay. So, again, if you haven't seen the G36C or the G36K builds that we did the other day, go ahead and check those out on the channel. Just some more information about the G36. It was a designed as a replacement, there we go, for the G3 battle rifle, which is a 7.62 millimeter German rifle used by the army. And it was designed to replace that in the 1990s and was put into service in 1997 going forward. Boy, and you can see it does handle pretty well. With the builds we hit, the attachments we have on really help the, the um, the recoil control with this, as well as the ADS speed, is pretty decent, so it's not too bad. You can even fight this more if you want to throw a tack laser on, which I, I was playing out with a, a decent amount, and it does help a lot. That with the simple pistol grip, so you can just stack those attachments if you don't mind the um, the visible laser. And just be careful with your ADS when you're ADS, and other than that, um, that would help it out even more, but I think it's pretty good. It handles well, and I was using it on stream most of the day today. And I do like this build. I think I'm going to play with it more before I decide which is the best build for the weapon, but it's definitely one of my favorites so far. Not sure where these guys went. So again, for the G36 in real life, we have... Oh, there we go. We have an assault rifle, a carbine... Light machine gun and a squad automatic weapon, which we've gone over a few of those already with the carbine and the compact version as well. The uh, statistics on this weapon, whoa, definitely a guy below me, I think. So the different variants, first of all, are going to be your G G36, MG36, G36K, G36KV. V is really just the new version of the export. It used to be the G36E. Then there's a G36C as well. Let's see where this guy went. There we go. So the length on the G36 is going to be... 
I hear someone below me, I think. Yep. Oh, darn. So length of the G36 is 39.3 inches, including the stock, or 990 millimeters. Um, that's going to be the same for the V as well as the MG36 and the MG36E for export. Barrel length on the G36 is going to be the 18.9 inch that we discussed, so it's the same barrel that the MG36 uses. The width of the weapon overall for any variant you use is 64 millimeters. Nice. The height of the weapon is 12.6 inches. Cartridge, again, it shoots that standard NATO 5.56 by 45 round. The rate of fire in the real life version here for the assault rifle version is 750 rounds per minute. Oh, I think I saw. Where is he? You can see at range, since we do have the long barrel on this, which is the. The standard barrel is that 18.9 inch barrel, so we have that on there and it definitely, you can get a range with this. Another good attachment would be the monolithic suppressor. I played around with that one a lot and I did like that if you want to increase your damage at range. It also seems to help with the recoil, believe it or not, even though it's not supposed to, but I did notice a difference. So the effective firing range for the G36 is 800 meters or 870 yards. Maximum firing range is 2,860 meters or 3,130 yards. Feed system again is a 30 round box with detachable box mag or the 100 round C mag, which we see with the, the standard Holger 26 of the MG36 there. And then sights, uh, standard sights that come with the weapon are the reflex sight with one times magnification and telescope, and then also a three time magnification as well as well as backup iron sights. So with the attachments we have on, it definitely mitigates the muzzle climb enough to where you really, like I said, you really only need to worry about that horizontal recoil, and uh, it makes the vertical recoil a lot easier to compensate for. There we go. So let me know what you guys think of this build before. If you saw me on stream today playing with this, what'd you think? Have you used this version of the Holger 26 yet? Really, the only attachment you're going to need is that 30-round mag and get rid of the, the C-mag on it. Darn. And then you have your G36 assault rifle, which is pretty cool. Pretty easy conversion for this one. And it's actually a really effective weapon. Getting rid of that C-mag increases your movement speed, your ADS speed, so it's a pretty good deal. The range on this is actually pretty good. I do like it. So let me know what you guys think in chat. Have you used this one yet? Do you prefer the Holger 26 or the MG36 or the the Ram 7 or the, the being the Tar 21? So which one of those do you guys like better? I'm not really sure yet. I need to use both a little bit more, but I I currently am definitely favoring the G36 more. I have used it more too, so I have more experience with it so far. So be sure to leave your comments down below what you like, what you think of the build, how you like it. Also be sure to comment future builds of weapons you want me to build in conversion series. Go. Also, be sure my Twitch link is down below in the description. You can follow me over there. We'll be doing live streams there. We were doing live streams on YouTube today. So, we'll be doing back and forth between each, but that way you can stay notified to which one I'm on if I don't give you a heads up in advance. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram as well as my Twitter down there in the description, also, so you can follow me there. And I think we're going to be doing the, again, we're going to be doing the giveaway here. I think tomorrow I'll be announced that I got a few more details I want to square away before we do it. And I think what it's going to be, we're going to be doing two uh, gift cards, you know, whether it's for Steam, Xbox, or PlayStation, depending on whoever wins, what console, console of choice for you would be about $35 um, of the console gift card there. So we'll do that, and that way if you guys want to purchase some COD points for Season 1 and get some unlocks for the Battle Pass, you can do that. If you don't have the game yet, we give you some little extra money towards that. So let me know what you guys think down below of this build. I think so far, this one is really good. I need more time with it. I, I did like the G36K we did yesterday, for sure. thought that was a really good build. It, and that increased your, with that shorter barrel, it increased your movement speed as well as your ADS a little bit also, which was good. Copy, Jaguar 30 in route for personal. Let's see.
Whoa. There we go. I'm really hoping, I think it would be cool if they added a blueprint to turn this into an XM8. Because the XM8 is really internally very similar to the G36, so it would be cool if they added a blueprint. Or maybe even some different looking attachments to kind of convert this for a different skin into the XM8. I think that would be pretty cool. Hopefully they do that down the road. I think that'd be neat. Oh man, I'm pinned down. There we go. So again, the different variant of this is going to be the G36V, which is formerly known as the E for just export version. You have the MG36, the machine gun, the G36K, which is Kurtz for short, meaning it's the carbine variant. G36C, which is the compact version of the G36. Then we have the G36. A2 as well. And the other day we built the G36K A4. If you want to go and check that one out. Oh no. Let's see. There we go. But I'm Buff Nerd Gaming. This is the G36 Assault Rifle. And until next time, Buff Nerd Gaming, out.